pulling the ring? Okay. That's how they keep the uh, kobolds out. <laughs> Can't reach the rope. Alright, so hopefully then this is uh, Brogan's arm. Alright, so here we are, finally in Brogan's arm. Surprisingly, uh, nobody's here though. You'll notice here are uh, emblems of a different color. A note hangs from a hook on the metal clad door. Alright, the note reads, uh, Warning! The mine has been sealed at the request of the Guild Council. Do not enter. Signed by Jaeger Steinfar. If you remember, Steinfar, I think, was mentioned in the cemetery. Uh, Steinfar's Folly. This is probably uh, a family of important. Knocking on a few doors. Okay, Ilsa Steinfar. Stern young woman. Seems to be at odds with the relative humility of her home. She has the look of someone who has only recently come into money. She's just, uh... She's not even thinking of uh, robbing anybody, she's just looking around. A scowl playing across her broad, stern face. This woman marches toward you. Her skin is gray and tight, somehow reminding you of dead wood half buried in the sand. She plants her feet and crosses her arms. Ye have some nerve barging into a woman's home, interrupting her from her weaving? Why, when me husband comes home... Well, she's not going to try to fool her. I think uh, she just wanted to ask some questions. If it's answers you want, then go pester Helga in the guild hall. This be a private home. All right. <laughs> I think we'll really just leave then. So he doesn't want to uh, further offend, I guess, uh, maybe somebody of an important family. So, the Steinfors is recently uh, coming into wealth. Possibly. What is that? A chicken. I think we're in the uh, back of the buildings. All right, here's a uh, the old man's well. A foul-smelling steam wafts up from below. <laughs> okay. Looks like some guards here at the gate. <laughs> the dwarven arms and looks uncomfortable in his heavy armor, as if he rarely has cause to wear it. <laughs> Curious though, where this, uh, so here's the south gate. Steinfar Iron Mine. So I think the, uh, Steinfar's family must own the Iron Mine. Must be where, uh, the wealth has come from. Alright, it's locked. So, uh, asking the, uh, guardsman why that is. The guard eyes you warily as you approach. He seems jumpy and on edge. What be your business in Brogan's arm? He musters, glancing over your shoulder to search the shadows beyond. I think she's curious uh, what he's looking at. 
telling Lily to move on. She's curious about the gate. Why well, it's locked. Master Jaegers closed down the mine where I usually work. The council says we're to guard the south gate instead. No one passes in or out. It's the south road. Asking why the mine is closed. Suppose they've had troubles and had troubles in the past. Alright, I think she's going to ask about strangers looking for the um, man in the king's colors. He's heard word of a large group that passed through heading north. That's guild business, though. Alright, asking about the uh, cavernous stone. So I think it was the night hag that said uh, if you seek the cavernous stone, you'll find the man in the king's uniform. Alright, he exchanged a meaningful glance with the other guard and uh, is keeping his mouth shut about the cavernous stone. <laughs> so I don't think she's going to get any information out of him. Alright. Not uh, very helpful at all. I think there was a shop up here. Blast that elf! Are you sure the stone be gone? Mayhaps it fell and skittered into some dark corner we cannot find. The Kavanaugh stone be gone, gentlemen, and Brogan's honor with it, stolen by the foreigner. Aye, it be him! He's hidden it somewhere! Quiet! Keep your voices down, lest the whole town learn of what's gone on. Talking about a stranger, well, he's guessing that might be the uh, one that the night hag said she should, she should uh, that she should uh, seek out. Huh? Somebody's yelling. But uh, sounds like the cabin of stone is gone. Is that what they said? Yeah. Stolen by the foreigner. <laughs> Okay. Here, I think, is, uh... <clears throat> Nimmer Mowers, Potions, and Things Arcane. I think Lily's certainly interested to, uh, take a look in here. There's, uh, Old Man Nimmer Mower. Old Dwarf with Leathery Skin. Almost more blue than gray. Missing his left arm. And has stitched the sleeve closed at the shoulder. Huh. Unique shop with a unique proprietor. I think she's gonna look around a little bit. Some odd things here, <laughs> like this. Whatever that is. Interesting. Infernal contraption. Whizzes and hums. The floor around it is littered with bird droppings. I don't know what the policies are. I think she just wants to take a look. I guess nothing uh, that interesting. 
I think she's going to assume that this is uh, his personal belongings. Yeah, a hide covered strong box. I think she'll leave that. Incense smolders in a pot, filling the room with a pungent purple smoke. All right. He's talking with the old man Nimmermauer. The old dwarf pauses in his endless pacing. Your eyes can't help but drift to where his sleeve has been stitched closed over a missing arm. He wraps his walking stick against the floor, reclaiming your gaze. Me face be up here. Now, if your business be with things of magic, you've come to the right place. If your business be otherwise, you'd best be off and pestering the likes of others. I think she's uh, curious about what type of supplies he actually has. Potions, craftings, and things arcane. Just ask me, Raven. <laughs> Not sure what he means by that. Okay, apparently he has a familiar by the name of Raggletag, a raven. She's fallen in love with me, infernal contraption. We were just looking at that. It'd be a mistake. I should have never crafted it. Trying to spin gold from thin air. I should have known better to meddle in such things. Saying, ah, Missouri poor raggle tag. I think she's curious about spinning gold from air, though. Throw your guilders down the tube, and you will soon find that sometimes even more emerge, and sometimes less. Okay. So it does work, but just <laughs> not all the time. And I guess uh, his familiar raggle tag has become obsessed with it. She finds her dirty guilders with each with which to play. I'll never know, but she'll be on a binge again these past few nights. She's been clattering up and down the chimney flue so much I can't recall how long it's been since I last slept. She'll be home again soon, another gilder in her beak. I think she's uh, going to ask maybe a few questions. All right, asking about the uh, night hag. She'd be of the fey, saying, Strange creatures. They can shift their shape or be in many places at once. The Feyborn cannot lie, and more than they can tell the truth. If you must deal with them, you do so at your own peril. Are right, asking about the uh, Ethereal Leak? Actually, saying to Lily, uh, he's sorry to hear of her sacrifice. Just not sure what he means by that. He assumed uh, that she could see the ethereal leaks as well. I guess meaning that, well, I'm not sure what that means. Oh, it is said that only those who have sacrificed everything for a cause can see them. So he assumed uh, that she could see them, that she made some great sacrifice. Unfortunately, she can't remember. 